<sighs> what a morning to be alive. Let me tell you, I got up around 6 a.m. this morning. Very, very, now that the lights are on, it's a very nice apartment. I mean, look at the, look at this view. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. They got a pool over there, everything. And right over there is the gym. I went to the gym this morning. And now, got all ready, cooking some breakfast. Went to Trader Joe's last night. He's in my, oh, well, now we fogged up. Those are potatoes. <laughs> and I'm gonna throw some eggs in there. The funny thing is that the Airbnb did not come with <laughs> olive oil or any sort of oil, so I'm trying to cook these on this pan with, <laughs> with water. And here we go, look at that, my egg. I don't even know what you call potato egg situation going on. Going back in the oven. Ah, cook that baby up. Yo, we got a boogie. How are we looking? It's almost there. We gotta go though. We gotta go. <laughs> Let's take a look. It's coming. It's like a potato egg pizza thing. It's pretty decent. Pretty decent. <laughs> I mean, look, it's definitely not the most beautiful thing in the world, but, uh, Hopefully it's good. We'll still be on time, but like we're cut, we're like gonna land there right on time. I wanted to be there a little bit earlier, but it's all right. We're good. We're good. Looks like we're gonna make it there right on time. This is a uh, post post editing Jacob Restituto. Uh, <laughs> quick little update. I didn't explain in this vlog who I'm talking about at all. I don't think. I don't know how I, how I talked to, like how, how that happened. But essentially. The person I'm talking about throughout this vlog is Tommy Prophet. I had uh, an, an interview with him on the channel a couple months back, and then while I was in Nashville, I had the opportunity uh, to meet up with him and uh, just essentially just have a coffee in his studio and just chat and talk about life. So for all the context, that was the place that I was rushing to, and that is the the person that I'm talking in context to of having this meeting. So that is, <laughs> I was watching this black and back, and I'm like, oh, I never, I never told who I was talking about. So. That's the context. Dude, let me tell you how unbelievably phenomenal of a meeting that was. We realized, both of us, that we are like literally the same person and think about things the same exact way. And we really got along, just essentially talked for like an hour and a half about everything, like from music to work to life to having kids to his concert that he put on in December. and. Just really, 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 really great time. Also, the area that I'm in right now is beautiful. Like literally like my dreamland where like acres and acres and horses and farms. And like, I'm like, oh, this place is so beautiful. So different than the part of Nashville or Tennessee that I experienced when I came last time. The areas that I'm going through are so beautiful. And I actually just went to this little like boutique, like ant boutique antique shop and seeing um, some of the, you know, the stuff, the little stuff that they had in there. And I got something for my wife. So I, I went up to the, the clerk, we were talking for a while. And I was like, what's one thing that says, uh, I love you from Tennessee? Uh, so I, and she's like, oh, definitely the Tennessee whiskey. Like, it was a candle. But so I, I got Jamie that and like, I was talking to a lady and, and she's like, have you been to Franklin yet? She's like, you have to check it out. It's downtown Franklin, it's beautiful. So why not? I got nothing really going on. I might be having like a lunch, a late lunch with some of the musicians that couldn't make it tonight. But a couple of the musicians have said yes, that they're interested in coming out tonight. So that's really cool. And I might have like a lunch with some of them as well. So just making connections, making the most of my time here, but also not stressing about making sure everything has to happen. What's meant to be is meant to be. And but we're off to a great, great, great start to the day. Also, let me say, I don't think I've ever been in a nicer studio the way he interior designed his studio and the area leading up to his studio is the coolest design I have personally ever, ever seen. It's unbelievable. I wonder if you can Google Tommy Prophet Studio. When we were designing the studio, there was like three inspirations. I was like, I want it to look one third Batcave, one third movie theater, and one third inside of a Tesla. <laughs> Gorgeous, like gorgeous, gorgeous studio. Such a cool, such a great time. So here we are in the historic city or downtown area of Franklin, Tennessee. All right, I just tried calling Amber Friedman, which you know from the, uh, from the concert. In Lynchburg, Tennessee is the Jack Daniels whiskey distiller, the famous whiskey distillery. So, but that's an hour and a half away. I'm like, I have literally nothing going on today until six, which I made the plans. I could also push those plans a little later and be like, hey, can we meet at eight o'clock with the other musicians and potentially go to 
this distillery, it'd be three hours of driving, an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back, and an hour and a half distillery tour. But like, I don't know, that's pretty sick. So I'm debating if it's worth it, what I want to do. But in the meantime, I still have time to check out these areas around here. Oh, but the reason I was calling is because she's done the distillery tour before, and I wanted to see if, uh, if it's worth it. There are some really, really nice shops in this area. This is a really, really nice area. Okay, here's the plan we got. There was a couple options for the distillery times, and I decided to choose a little bit of a later option so that I could go, go back to the Airbnb, have lunch there with the lunch that I essentially made this morning, kind of just recoup, relax a little bit, and then head out probably an hour and a half after I get back. And then from there, push back the meeting with the other artists a little bit, and then go, and instead of meeting them at six o'clock, I meet them at eight o'clock, which is a little later, but hey, you know, you gotta be spontaneous and have a little fun. So half an hour drive back to the Airbnb, chill for an hour and a half, have lunch, then head out for an hour and a half drive. You know, I hate driving, but it's different when you're driving in a different state. I feel like you get to see different things and kind of just experience different things. The tour is about an hour and a half, and then another hour and a half drive back <laughs> to the Pinewood Social, which even Tommy Prophet was like, oh, that place is really cool. You're gonna have a good time. So that's the plan for today. Also, you want to hear something pretty cool that I really actually makes me really happy. Uh, yesterday, I sent out a text to the band asking them what songs they'd recommend. I play at the, at the Bluebird last night, and they all like you know they gave some recommendations and wished me luck. But a couple of them reached out today just to be like, were like, "Hey, how did it go last night?" Like the fact that they cared was actually really cool, and I it means a lot. <laughs> all right, just finished up lunch and relaxing a little. Time to head to the distillery. Alright, we got uh, we got a bit of driving to do. Everything is so nice. Look at this thing. University. This is over here. The past uh, at least 45 minutes of my ride has been in the boondocks, the middle of nowhere. This distillery, I mean, this Jack, Jack Daniels is huge. Actually, in fact, my friend and I just did the calculations. I don't know like how it even came up, but we like somehow did calculations of how much money I think it was Patron makes in a year. Somebody said that I, they knew somebody that did the marketing for Patron in in Australia and how much they were pay, getting paid to do it. And we're like, how can they afford that? So we started looking up how much they made and we were like, well, how much does, does Jack Daniels make? It's something insane. I think it's like $4 billion a year, something like that. So for how big of a company that is, it's literally in the middle of nowhere. Like I'm talking like cow country. I've seen hundreds of cows just lining the properties and just I, I don't know what people are doing with them but it's fascinating it is we are in the boondocks for sure dude that was hands down one of the most remarkable things i've ever seen in my life it was insane they do 600 bottles a minute just the intricacies of what they're doing and how they're doing it is was on believable probably one of the coolest things i've ever seen in my life it was just wild what they do side note did you know that frank sinatra was such a big fan of jack daniels that he was buried with a bottle of it in his casket it was crazy crazy but now we got another hour and a half ride back to uh back up north but we're gonna head to the pinewood social meet some of the songwriters which is gonna be kind of cool but this was 100 percent worth the drive this was sick